I want to explain to you how to transfer my sound banks to your synths using uh, modern computers with uh, Mac OS X or Windows 64-bit uh, which don't support applications that were written for 16-bit uh, windows like the uh, Korg SA05 editor and I'm explaining this on an example of my Korg X5D I've got this right now in factory settings so we've got solar flare which is the well, the very first combination that you hear when you turn on the synth for the first time. And first, especially in this synth, we have to check a few uh, settings in the global menu. Um, page 02. Um, C has to be set on MIDI because we are using MIDI connection in this case and not the uh, two host interface, which is not compatible with modern computers. Right protection for programs and uh, combinations has to be both turned off on no this wasn't here on page two I forgot one more thing um, the filter for um, or the sysx has to be enabled so we can receive sysx and that's about it so let's go over to the PC I found a very uh, easy to use program called Boom Send SX, which is this very small program. The first thing you uh, have to do is on MIDI out select the MIDI port which is connected to the, your specific synth. In my case, it's the MIDI out 2 of my interface which is connected to the Cork X5D. Then you simply open the file you want to transfer, in this case jbcorexfd.syx and press on send and it sends MIDI data now it looks like it's, it's stuck the program but that's all normal if you look on my MIDI interface it's flashing and the X5D says processing which means it's receiving data And after some time, it should be done. It takes up to a half a minute. <laughs> We've got my first patch state trans and everything's here. And that's it. In case you want to back up your sounds, this works all similar. So first on the MIDI in menu of the Sand SX you select the port where your synth is connected to. Again, this is MIDI in 2. And then you go to tell your synth to send that data dump. In this case, this is also in the global menu. Page number 4A, MIDI dump. We want to send all to MIDI. OK, we press yes. And it's processing. And at the same time, Bromus X is receiving data automatically. So it's done now. We've got the whole file here. Go to save, MIDI in as, and name it as you wish it. And that's it. Done. Now on the Mac side, this works all similar. We start the SysX librarian. Also here the download link is in the description. And you either have all the SysX files already here or you add them to the library via the file menu, add to library. Select the file and well you're done. I don't do this right now because I've already edited it. You select the file you want to transfer. Select the uh, MIDI interface connection, in this case again the number 2, press and play and it's getting transferred. To receive files just uh, click record many and now it's waiting for sysx messages, you send the data dump uh, from your synth and it automatically creates a file with the data. That's it.